Have you ever wondered why? It is always advised to step back from the platform as the train approaches you. Let's consider another case. You have often heard this from the people local to hilly areas. Suicide points of mountains have some kind of belief that whenever you have a feeling of suicide and you are standing right there, you experience a push behind to a deadly valley. Ever thought why this happens? Why people keep saying this, do they really mean something, or they are just myths? So, let's get started and find the explanation behind this. A brief history of Bernoulli. He was a Swiss mathematician, born in the early 1800s in the Netherlands. His prime field of work is in hydrodynamics and hydraulics. He did his research work with Leonhard Euler, and later on, it was Leonhard Euler who derived Bernoulli's equation. It is based on the conservation of energy, that is the sum of kinetic energy, potential energy, and internal energy remains always constant. Now let's move to Bernoulli's principle which states that total energy of a small amount of an incompressible fluid flowing from one point to another remains constant throughout the displacement. Now, let's see Bernoulli's equation. For simplicity we have considered an incompressible fluid. An incompressible fluid has no compression means no change in density no matter what amount of pressure change, the volume doesn't change. Its viscosity is zero, that is, on a molecular level the interaction between molecules is negligible, honey has a greater viscosity than water. Its surface tension is zero, that is, the property of fluid due to which outer layer of the fluent experience a tensile force. And last but not least it is irrotational in nature, that is no turbulence. Consider a tube, one side narrow and one side wide from the opposite ends, water flowing from the narrower side to the wider side. Consider a fluid part that is between ab. At the end A, we have pressure P1 of the fluid flowing at a velocity of V1 through a cross-sectional area of A1 and similarly at B. We have pressure P2 of the fluid flowing at a velocity of V2 through a cross-sectional area of A2. Both ends A and B are at heights H1 and H2 respectively from the reference point. Now that fluid part between AB has moved to A-B- which is approximately at the same reference level. Hence, there must be some work done by the forces in moving that fluid part from AB to A-B-. First, consider work done by the fluid. It is the sum of the work done by moving that fluid part from A to A dash, A dash to B, and B to B dash. So, work done from A to A dash is the dot product of force and displacement. The force F1 pushes the fluid part making displacement S. Work done from A dash to B is zero because displacement is zero. Work done from B to B dash is the dot product of force and displacement. The force F2 pushes the fluid part making displacement S. Now we all know that force is pressure times area and displacement is velocity times time difference, which gives us this equation. P1 times A1 times V1 times time difference minus P2 times A2 times V2 times time difference. difference. And finally, delta M by rho times P1 minus P2. Now, consider work done by conservative force gravity, it is the total change in the potential energy of a fluid which eventually gives delta M times G times H1 minus H2. We break the potential energy of part AB into A dash plus A dash B and did the derivation as you could see. The normal force is also acting on the fluid but it is zero because the fluid motion is perpendicular to the normal force. As we already know the Bernoulli's equation works on the conservation of energy, which is the sum of all the work done is equal to change in kinetic energy, which finally gives us the most important equation of all the time that is pressure energy per unit volume plus is potential energy per unit volume plus kinetic energy per unit volume is constant. That is if we have constant height and if the velocity of the fluid increases then the pressure on that side decreases and vice versa. I guess now you can get the explanation that, why we move away from the platform. Yes correct the velocity of air near the track increases because of the fast running train hence, the pressure at that area decreases while on the platform no change in pressure and this creates a pressure difference between platform and track. High pressure on the platform and low pressure on the track creates a force in the direction of the track. So next time keep this in mind whenever you go to a railway station. Similarly, 
It is the case with a person standing on the cliff and suddenly falls down. This happens because of the different velocities of wind in front and behind the person, and he feels that someone pushes him. Actually someone does push him but it is the air, not a ghost. In industries, we use suction pumps to move delicate things from one place to another using the suction that is too based upon the Bernoulli's principle, in which air is being sucked towards the pumps with high velocity and this creates a partial vacuum between the thing and pump. Similarly, the same Bernoulli's principle helps in the designing of the perfume's bottles, when the rubber bulb is squeezed the air flows through the fine tube increases which in turn reduces the pressure at the nozzle below atmospheric pressure thus due to the difference in pressure and with the stream of air coming out of the nozzle blows the liquid into the fine spray. So, these are a few illustrations of Bernoulli's principle. Hope you liked the video and comment down what's on your mind. Thank you and keep sharing this video and do like, subscribe and share to get more updates from the Brain Injector.